Hello, I am Dr. Nagaraj Murthy, assistant professor in the Department of Cardiology at Sri Jadeva Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences and Research in Bangalore, India. I am co-author of the article Hemoglobin A1C in non-diabetic individuals as an independent predictor of coronary artery disease and its severity which will appear in the coming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. First of all, I would like to thank and congratulate all my co-authors for their immense contribution in conducting this study. As we all know, hemoglobin A1c is an indicator of average glycemia over previous 2-3 to three months. Uh, this is proven beyond doubt that high levels of hemoglobin A1c in diabetic patients are associated with higher adverse cardiovascular outcomes. Even in non-diabetic individuals, higher HB A1c levels have been correlated with higher cardiovascular disease and mortality and higher carotid intima media thickness and increased carotid plaque prevalence. Hence, in this present study, we examine the association between hemoglobin A1c levels and coronary artery disease in non-diabetic patients undergoing coronary angiography. We also evaluated the role of hemoglobin A1c in predicting coronary artery disease and, uh, and to correlate hemoglobin A1c levels with angiographic disease severity as well as complexity. This is an observational single center cross-sectional study conducted in 1141 non-diabetic patients. In this present study, we observed that with the increasing HP A1c levels, there is graded and continuous increase in angiographically proven coronary artery disease. This association is independent of conventional major cardiovascular risk factors like male sex, age, dyslipidemia, diabetes mellitus and hypertension and obesity. The elevated HP A1C level was strongly correlated with the disease severity and higher syntax score. With increasing HP A1C levels, a significant increase was also noted in the mean number of diseased vessels as well as the occurrence of left main or triple vessel disease. The mean syntax score was also significantly increased with increased HbA1c levels. Thus, we conclude HbA1c is a surrogate marker of chronic dysglycemia and could be utilized as an independent predictor of coronary artery disease and its severity even in non-diabetic subjects. Hence, we recommend pre-diabetic individuals with milder abnormalities in glucose level should be identified and advise aggressive coronary artery disease risk factor modification and management. However, therapeutic strategy to specifically lower HbA1c levels in non-diabetic individuals still remains uncertain and randomized controlled clinical trials need to be done in this direction in future. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.